Hi everyone, welcome to Cashwalks. Today we're at Cromwell and we're heading down to Clyde on the Lake Dunstan bike trail. Yeah, we're going to get some geocaches and we've got a couple of e-bikes, so come with us. Lake Dunstan is in the South Island of New Zealand. It's a 42 kilometre one day ride from Cromwell to Clyde. When you're ready, let's go. We dropped our car off at Clyde earlier in the morning and the bike hire company brought us back to Cromwell in a van with our hire bikes to start the trail. We're practicing changing gears and speed on this easier part of the ride. It gives you plenty of time to practice before the more challenging parts of the trail. Apart from a one day hire of an e-bike a week earlier, this was our first real go riding them. Our four kilometre walks in the weeks leading up to this adventure have certainly helped. You need a reasonable level of fitness. We're coming up to our first challenge, a windy downhill part with a tight corner before going under the Bannockburn Bridge. The first of the great views we are expecting on this trail. As we seldom ride bikes and we're not the fittest of people, we are gaining in confidence as we ride along. The morning rain that was forecast has passed over and it looks like it's going to be a warm sunny day. How did you go on that first little bit, Lynn? Oh, great. It's a bit windy. Oh, it's Whoa, right. there's your bike. Bike just blown over. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. kind of getting used to it. So Get that's the great. rain jacket off, eh? Yes, yeah, now a bit it's hot. It's fined up. Yeah. A bit of a drop off here, but there are more exciting ones to come. Bikes go in both directions on the trail, so you need to watch your head. We're approaching a geocache hiding spot, but we're still getting used to riding, so leaving this one for another day. Gareth Winery. Welcome to Gareth Wines. Love this part, great view. We're nearing another geocache hidden on the trail. I know, here's the first geocache that we're attempting to find. Okay, let's have a look. I think Where it's... would you hide it? <laughs> okay, let's see if it's in there, Lynn. Yes. Yippee! <laughs> now, I need a pen. Right oh. Right. 
leave a little path tag in little there. baby kiwi. Yep. Excellent. <laughs> right, and then hide it away for the next person. Yes. Isn't it pretty? Lovely bright orange. Okay, back to the bikes and continue on the journey. What's that sign up ahead? Let's take a look. Whoa, unfenced cliff edge, narrow trail, significant rock hazard, use at your own risk. <laughs> I think the views are going to make it all worthwhile. Our first really uphill section and it's much easier than we thought it would be. It's fun coming down the other side. Here's the first bridge where the bike path is cantilevered off the cliff face. The Hartley Bluff Bridge. We had worried about these narrow bridges, but it's okay just like riding on a footpath, but with a few blind corners where you need to take care. Hello, what are all these people doing? Just having a rest, let's head on. The Riley Bluff Bridge, another cantilevered section of the trail, and there's a geocache hidden here. Okay, it's at the end of the bridge somewhere, Lynch. We're going to have a look. Okay, yes. Let's go and see. Just down under, Sid. Down under. Yeah. Down in there, I presume. Yeah. Where would you hide it? Where would you hide it, little magnetic? Mitten. Hooray. Looks like we'll need tweezers for this one, Lynn. Yes. Yeah. There we are. Makes it a lot easier, doesn't it, having sure the tweezers? Right. All right. Do you Rick? A few people are passing us, but they mostly make their presence known by saying, passing on the right. get the gear and speed right and even the steep bits are reasonably easy. Bit windy here but not bothering us, rather pleasant. There's another geocache nearby. Right, on to the next one. Have to go back through this cattle stop that we've just gone past. And there's a good hint for it too. Within one metre of the post on the rock. Okay. Let's see. Whoa! <laughs> a lovely view up here. Well, where would you hide it? Down under that lip, I bet. Let's go and see. 
You think it's down under there, under those rocks? I think that's a little geohide. Let's have a look. No, it's not. Let's see if it's under this one. Oh, yes, I can see it. Little 35 millimeter film container. Pretty windy here today. Cheerick. Logo sign. Okay, along to find the next one. <laughs> Get into the swing of it a bit now. That's good. There's another geocache hidden here at the Pickaxe Bridge. This is the longest cantilevered section of the trail. few blind corners to be careful with, but much easier than we expected. I like the way the decking has been cut to fit the rock face. I'm pulling over to film Lynn crossing the bridge. I better go fast here to catch her up. Oops, misjudged the gears. Oh, that's better. Coming up to Coffee Afloat and Burger Afloat, a floating cafe and burger bar, and it's time for lunch. Feeling now, Lynn? Not too bad. Not too bad? Mm. Yeah. Better than I thought, actually. Yeah, we've had a little scary bits, okay, haven't we? Mm. Yeah, I was quite surprised. And what are we having for lunch here? Um, salami and avocado roll. Good. Mm. Nice to have and a bit of a break. Got some and mandarins. Some mandarins, yeah. Um. <laughs> We're using the walk feature of our bike here to go up to join the trail. You select walk and the bike walks along without you having to push it. The Ken Muir ladder approaches, the steepest part of the trail. I wonder if we'll need the walk feature of our bikes here. We've stopped to see how the other riders are handling this. We've changed down to first gear and put the power on to maximum. I can't believe how easy this is. Just keep pedaling steadily and the bike's taking me to the top.
Let's make the fence disappear so we can see the view. Feeling it in my legs now, but still not too difficult. Much easier on an e-bike. Getting too close to the bank. Enjoying every minute of this ride. You can see the trail way below us here. Lynn's up above me on the left filming. You can see I'm under no great pressure. Geocache coming up at the trig station. Okay, the next cache is here, so where would this? you hide it? <laughs> See it, Lynn? Yes, I know where it is. Okay, grow it. Okay. Here we go. Excellent. Nice and easy. Oh, a little bicycle. Yep. Alrighty. Wow, it's windy here. It sure is. And off to the next one. Now this is downhill, serious downhill. And because it's gravel, we're using both our brakes at the same time. Apparently that's the safest thing to do. We're going to take it nice and steady down the hill. How are you feeling about it, Lynn? Oh, um... Okay, so this is a bit windy, isn't it? You yeah, just, not too bad though. No, I just take Quite it. Quite good corners. Yeah, just going to take it slow. Yep. <laughs> not in any urgency at the moment. Not any too far behind. <laughs> I've just got one leg straight, and I'm taking the weight so that my bottom is uh, gets a bit of a rest. Yeah. The seat started to give it sore. Yeah. When you can look up, it's lovely views. Yep. <laughs> Not so much wind here, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's wonderful. Can I go ahead of you? Yeah. Thanks. Awesome views. A fair bit of a drop off down there. And they have wire barriers on the really dangerous bits, so that's good. You can take it as slow as you like. There's plenty of time to complete the trail, even if you're geocaching and filming. Another steep section coming up. Oh, good change of gears that time, Lynn. <laughs> We're getting the hang of it. Hi. I'm going to pull up on the left here. A good place to rest and enjoy the view.
pretty massive drop off on the side there. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't like to go over there. <laughs> now here comes the big bridge. Woohoo! Hugo Bridge. Okay to go across it then? Yeah, shall I go now? Yep. Yep. Here's a tight little corner. Oh, round up we go. <laughs> Excellent. Hi Lynn, how are you going? Yeah, good. Good? Yep, thank you. The wide angle lens of our camera does not show how steep the trail is in places. It tends to flatten it out a little. It's steep here on this corner. Nice and calm down here. Yep. <laughs> okay, it's really narrow around here, 1.5 metres. They say to get off if we're passing, don't try and pass anybody. I can see why. Pyramid Bluff Bridge. Crossing Cormorant's Perch Bridge. Thank you. Thank you. We're not looking for every geocache as we're not sure how long our ride will take, nor how well we'll cope with it and the filming. Now Bedrock Gully Bridge. Very confident crossing these now. The Double Duck Bluff Bridges. We missed this cache. It would have made geocaching easier if we had had a phone mount on our handlebars instead of having to reach into our pockets. The track's going up a bit here. Before leaving, I found myself visualising the trail to calm my nerves. I'm calming myself by not looking down at the drop-offs. It's helping a lot. I'm looking ahead on the corners. Pulling over to find another geocache. Okay, we're off to find the next geocache. 
We stopped a little short because there was a good pull-off area. All right. Hmm. Corner rock. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> Watch out! There's somebody coming. <laughs> okay. You can smell the time, it's lovely. Yeah. Oh, yes, it's got to be in there. It's the corner rock. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, Minton. Got the pen? Yes. We have our caches on an offline list. Our cell phone coverage is patchy. Another uphill climb after finding that uh, geocache. Another really steep one here. This is the second of the really steep sections. But it's a uh, Motor set on high and the gear on two or one. So uh, not too bad. I think I'd have more trouble uh, walking up these feet, but little downhill bit here. That's nice. Light is a long way below us here. We're just coming through Cold Stew Flat. Oh, a bit of high wind here. Not too bad though. We've only had one really bad gust of wind that made us think twice. Most of the time it's been pretty good. I'd spur. Slow down Rick, going a bit fast here mate. <laughs> Hello, I'd wave if I could. <laughs> and time to catch her up. She's going pretty fast for a lady who's uh, a bit scared of heights. Time for a drink stop. But we've drunk. This bottle, I've finished the other bottle and Phenomenal. half of your bottle's gone. <laughs> yes, more than half. <laughs> yeah, more than half so of your lucky bottle. Lucky we had the water with us. Lucky you had the water, you definitely need water. And it's not even summer, well, like, not, not no. a hot day really, is no, it? No, so it's it's perfect day weather-wise, mm. mm. but you definitely need water. Well, about 10k to go, you think? Yep. Okay. Oh, and about the water, I think that, you mm. know, like, it's hard for people to judge, but I would say a couple of litres at least, eh? That's what the bike place said. Oh, yeah, it was I think they're right. Yes, yes, mm. so do I. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, well. Carry on. On. Getting there. And I think we'll just um, pedal our way to the end. Yes, that We've sounds got good. a good number of geocaches. Yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Yeah. <laughs> There's some geocaches at the end we can get, but maybe we don't stop, we'll just... Gently yes. pit along. Yeah, I think that's, okay. that's good. 
and I've only got two bars left. Same here. Okay, let's head on. Having our water stop. Time to get pedaling. Well, I like the smell of that thyme. Yes. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Remember that at Bannockburn and the cash walks we did there? Oh, another downhill bit. Love the downhill bits. Looks like we've got a gate to get through here. Mm. <laughs> Pull. It's pulled, yeah. <laughs> So what do I do? Try to push. <laughs> Unless there's a surprise up ahead of us, this is quite pleasant this last little bit. A little bit of a downhill slope, so you can just rest and ease the weight off your bottom. <laughs> if it's getting sore on the seat. And then just a little bit of pedaling in places, so it's, it's not too bad this last little bit. It's getting into the afternoon, so we're in shadow along here. It's quite pleasant, quite cool. Just got a short sleeve uh, shirt on, as you've probably seen in the video. It's nice along here. Oh, you can see the dam in the distance, Clyde Dam. That's where we're heading. End of the trail. Thirty-five k mark. We have a comfort seat with a gel covering, but padded bike pants would have been a good idea. Coming up to the Dunstan Arm Rowing Club. A slow zone, cyclists give way to rowers. Passing a campground. Now let's take a quick look at the dam. There's the Dunstan Dam, which created the lake, and over in the far distance is the town of Clyde, where we're heading to drop off our bikes. That was just a short section on the uh, main road there, and now we're going down onto a cycle trail uh, that should take us into Clyde. Hello. Hi there. Looks like a little olive orchard along here. Quite cool. Not so sure where to go here, so using our phone to find our way back to the bike hire. Clyde is a small, picturesque rural town. We have made it after a six hour ride, slowed a little by geocaching and filming. 
It's half an hour before closing time at 5pm and the bike still has power. We're tired but in good shape as we end the journey. Well, we made it to the lovely little town of Clyde and uh, it was a great ride. Yes. And we found some geocaches on the way. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to go geocaching and riding.